What's good peeps, it's your boy Edward Toda. That's uh, a move that I'm still uh, working on, you know. You can kind of tell it's not 100% where I want it to be. It's still fine, it, you know, it works. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's it's still in the works. And that's what happens when you when you do daily uploads, you know what I mean? Sometimes, uh, you know, not everything's gonna be 100%. Not everything's gonna be exactly how I want it to be. I mean, it's never a hundred, like what I want it to be. I'm always trying to get that little improvement in, but yeah, you know, kind of uh, interesting to see a move that I'm kind of still working on. But anyway, today we're gonna be reacting to the the homie, the one and only, the, I, I can't think of any good rhymes for that, Dynamo. You know, it's funny because every time I perform, pretty much, uh, someone, someone brings up like, bro, you like, like, you like that guy Dynamo, you know? And I'm just like, in my head, I'm like, oh my god, here we go, right? Like, the thing is, Dynamo, he's a good performer, right? He, he captures attention, he's entertaining, but it's, he's not like super, like, he's not a, a Michael Vincent, he's not a Xavier Spade, he's not a, he's not an Alex Pandrea, you know what I'm saying? He's not a Daniel Madison, like, he's, he's not one of these crazy sleight of hand guys, uh, and people, you know, people assume he's really, 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 really good, simply because he's famous, um, and now he's ma his magic is fine, don't get me wrong. Uh, but, you know, what his, what I admire from him is his networking and, and the way he was able to build a brand. And, and it's more like like the the actual realistic side of magic that I that I really admire from, from Dynamo. But anyway, let's get into this video. Uh, he performed this on ESPN, I guess. Um, so let's take a look and I'll tell you what I think. All right, let's see. I'll give the cards a quick video for first. <laughs> So, yeah, we've got four of you, yeah. so if you all take a card... Oh, okay, you, so he's doing the... Alright, alright, I think I know what he's doing, I've seen, I think I've seen him do this before. Lovely. I'll look this way, so yeah. I can't see any monitors or anything, if you want to show the cards to the camera and remember them. I show you mine? This was pointless, why would you show four that? cards, yeah. no one's going to remember that uh, shit. Good, we good? Cool. Yep, go on. Maybe get them to sign I'll it instead. Take first. That's one. Yeah. Two. And all four. Do this really slowly. Give them a quick shuffle. That looks wow. Fair, right? Yeah. In fact, just give him a dynamo shuffle. Oh. <laughs> Did he really? No, I'll stand up okay. Here. He turned the dick face up. That's. Oh, look at that. <laughs> See, I just find that it's impressive. Yeah. Never mind the magic. <laughs> That'll keep me happy. Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll do it in um, slow motion. <laughs> yeah, you see what I'm saying? He's his his I mean oh, his cardistry is whatever. <laughs> he's not he's not uh, as good as some other guys, obviously, like see, some so of these guys, cardistry guys. Chose a card, but he makes it entertaining. The first one, this snap, one card jumps out. And that's yours, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's Your cool. Card. I like the subtlety of that's making the card look like it's coming from the middle. Into my top pocket. Yeah, alright, yeah. That's that's always a funny one. Can you show it to yeah, that's right. Can you this camera over here? Yeah. And this camera, yeah. What's actually really strange is that there isn't even a pocket there. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a back pocket and I think Yeah. That's right? very Absolutely. I like his yeah, I like his finish though. The way he's gonna finish this is crazy. I can already see. <laughs> and for the last one, instead of finding it, yeah. I'm gonna make all the other cards disappear. <gasps> so it's just one card in my hand. And I'm <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that thing. You didn't realise we'd wasted our lives. Yeah. It could have been that, that's just incredible. I mean, that, you can learn to do that, but that's a natural talent as well, isn't it? Yeah, right. I guess natural I talent, my ass, dude. Got me into it. I think <laughs> no such you thing. Know, I do believe that I was born to do this, but obviously over the years I've nurtured it. Yeah. And, you know, as you say, practice makes perfect. No one, no one is practice. born with like the ability to. I'm performing like literally every day now. To so do it. That's where I do all my practice. <laughs> sure. You know, I don't really want to like, name anything, but I don't get, have the opportunity to sit in, you know, in my bedroom and practice nowadays. I'm, you know, my manager's got me here, there, and everywhere. But um, I like it. It's good. Do something on that. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to? What, what do you want me to do? Just pick on do it. Do the lifting <laughs> one. Okay then. <laughs> the list sounds really obvious. Uh, I've heard about one. the lifting okay, one. Yeah, yeah. I'm off. Right. Uh, I'm like, I hate it when people do that. Oh, do this trick. Just, I wear like eight stone. Okay. Yeah. You know? I hate but it. I, I, I just want you to lift me like this. <laughs> yeah. So you just lift me up. Lift you up. Yeah. You can li like, lift me as high as you can. Yeah. My feet off the ground. You really can't go anywhere. Yeah. 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 One more, one for the rope. Wee. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, so yeah. you can lift me, right? Yeah, just about. He's so right. skinny. Okay. Get ready to lift me. Yeah. Yeah, just put your hands there, ready mm -hmm. to lift me. Look at me. Just lift me again. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's a really funny one. And it's funny because I've never seen anyone else do it, just Dynamo, but it's it's a very like workable trick. It's a very like like I've done it myself. Um, you know, it's actually very, very like useful, and and it, it doesn't. There's no angles. There's nothing. Like I'm surprised that no, not many people do it. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's that's the performance. Um, yeah, like if you can, if you take a look, like I mean, it's it's he's got good routine. Like it's a good routine. Don't get me wrong. It's polished. It's fine. But a lot of the stuff is is quite simple. You know, it, like you could probably you know. I don't, I don't know how long it would take you to, to learn this stuff, but it, it's really not that difficult. Like, the stuff that he did is, is, is it's okay. He did it clean and, and it, you know, there wasn't any issue, but, you know, there were, like, the, the fact, I was very surprised at the fact that he, he put everything, he put all the cards in the middle. He, did, he went through this whole thing of, like, not looking at the cards. He had the cards like this, right, in the middle, and then when, when he went to do the Hindu, he turned them face up and did the Hindu this way, you know? Um, I was surprised at that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie because that that's like it seems very counterintuitive and to have that built as, as part of your routine is kind of strange. Um, but but you know aside from that it's it's very good and you can tell he, like even though he's um, you know he's entertaining you know he's got this little thing with the dynamo shuffle as li his little kind of even though it's just cardistry and and again it's it's not the best it's he's not the best that I wouldn't say he's anything he did was like he's like the top of the game. But the combination and his personality and his uh, kind of, you know, already status that he's built up and, and people know him as the magic guy, boom, it hits. It hits hard and uh, people enjoy him, you know. And yeah, I mean, this is the difference between, you know, in-studio performances and things that you have a lot more control over. You know, when, when he does a TV show, you know, they can do a lot more setup, a lot more. And I'm not saying he uses Stooges, although he might have. I don't know. I don't even. I'm, I'm not actually that familiar with his work, but... Um, I'm, I'm saying like when you have a lot more control over, over your environment, then you can do a lot more crazy things. Um, whereas, but yeah, that's, that's one thing. Like it's very simple shit. And so obviously like when I, when I do stuff like this, you know, boom, and I find their card and, and it's just like the same shit he's doing. In my opinion, that's a bit stronger though, because as I was saying, um, it may, you know, the subtlety is that it comes from the middle, but but uh, yeah, like people just all every time, bro. You're like that guy Dynamo. You're like that guy Dynamo, and it's like that's that's not that hard to do, you know. I, I mean, I appreciate the compliment, and I know I understand what people are saying, but it's like you know, <laughs> he's not that crazy good. He's just he's just got a really good like marketing and and brand, and and that's what I admire about him, you know. And like the performance and the fact that he's entertaining, right? That's that's what it is. Um, it's kind of like the same as, as David Blaine, like what he, the stuff he does is quite, usually quite simple stuff, but the way he presents it and, the, and again, his marketing and all that stuff. So I actually kind of, to be honest, I admire these guys on another level because um, magic, you know, for me, it's like if I, if I see a crazy move, that's, that's on, on, on me, like to me, that's impressive, but I know that in the real world, it doesn't really mean much. Okay. Cause, cause like a normal spectator doesn't really care how difficult the move is. If they get fooled, they get fooled. If they're entertained, they're entertained. So, uh, you know, f uh, as a magician, it's like I, I admire all these crazy sleight of hand artists, right? It's like, wow, that's insane. You know, like, like Shin Lim, what he did on, on my Instagram, that was crazy because I know how it's done, right? And, and the fact that I know how hard that thing was is what makes me like it. But in reality, you know, you could accomplish the same thing that he did in, in a much easier way. I mean, you know, to to a non-magician, um, this this right, what, like taking the nine of uh, nine of clubs and putting it about halfway, leaving it about halfway, and it comes back to the top. There's no difference between that and what Shinlim did on my Instagram. But to me, obviously, what he did is insane because I know I know the workings, right? So, uh, you know, it's it's different levels of like like D Dynamo. I, I, I couldn't like to me is insane because he managed to to make it big to in the, in the non magician community in the non you know to the to the media he's like almost like an A list is he an A list celebrity whatever he's huge was my point right um, like everyone knows Dynamo 
So I, I respect that hustle. I respect that, you know, even though his magic is like quite simple, but the fact that someone was able to, to capture people's attention like that is insane. You know, on the other hand, people like Xavier Spade, people like, you know, Alex Pandrea, people, you know, crazy sleight of hand artists, it's like, you know, I, I love that from a magician standpoint. So, you know, I don't, I don't think, you know, Dynamo's shit. I don't think, oh, like, you know, a lot of magicians like to talk shit about him. Uh, I think he's got a great stage presence. I think he, he, he knows how, how to entertain. Um, but, you, you know, you have to realize where his strengths are, you know, and, and that's, that's what I'm trying to learn from, from these guys, you know, you know, how to, how to, how to basically market myself in that way, how to become, anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of all I have to say, that's all from me, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a like, it helps me a lot, you know, if you're not subscribed already, definitely do hit that subscribe button, I do daily videos, so, you know, it helps you stay in the loop, uh, follow me on the social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the links are down below, as always, mad respect, much love, stay lit, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!